outside the world famous quads gym here in Chicago, Illinois. It's always great for me to get a chance to look at or to train at some hardcore gyms because there's not many left across the United States. This is supposedly the best. Let's go inside. I want to talk to the owner, Dave. I want to get a little tour around the gym, see what's going on, and find out what this is all about. My name is Dave Dion, owner of Quad's Gym for the last 38 years. Uh, been in the business uh, in four different locations, and. Uh, Hopefully we can carry on the Quads name for another 40 years. I don't know if I'll be around that long, but... Uh, How'd you start Quads? I uh, started Quads in a basement back in 1975, and then opened the first gym in uh, 1976, May 1st of 1976, and, uh, and have had many uh, pro bodybuilders here, and we've also had, you know, Ed Cohen's been here for, for many years uh, with 125 world records, and... Uh, Hopefully we can keep this uh, name going. So, what, where'd you come up with the name Quad Gym? Uh, actually, in the basement we had four guys that used to lift, and uh, what we did is we uh, the other two guys left, and me and Tom ran it, opened a gym first in 1976. But uh, the other two guys are still friends. But uh, we went on to open the first storefront gym in, in Thornton, Illinois. And why'd you come up with Quads? Quads is a muscle in your leg, and uh, four guys we were a little club in the basement. Gotcha. Who's the freakiest guy you've ever seen lift here? A Dave Palumbo. <laughs> okay, uh, some of the craziest lifts uh, would be Ed Cohen at a 217 body weight, pulling 901 off the floor. Uh, at a 217 body weight, benching 600, and squatting over 1,000 in the gym, Ed Cohen. In the day of like the health club now, it seems like the hardcore freeway gyms are like going out of business. How does Quad stay so busy and, and, and still enjoy so much uh, notoriety? Well, I, I really think that over the years, you know, when we first opened up the gyms back in the old days, there was not a treadmill, there was an elliptical, there wasn't a bike. It was eight, basically all free weights and machines. I think a lot of our, whatever little bit of success we've had is from basically from the longevity in our equipment. You know, we, we, we have equipment that other gyms don't have. And, uh, and, I, and I'll never quit being that. I, I just, we're totally different than a, a full service uh, health club, you know, and I, and, and, and I cater to my customers and we try to be the best at what we do, you know. I'm never gonna lose my niche at all. You know? Entering into Quad's gym, the legendary Quad's gym, it's huge, two stories long, and there's, a, there's equipment everywhere, as you can see, ranging from the old ab flexing machine to some new hammer strength machines around here. Uh, flex equipment. A lot of nebula here. I've seen a lot of nebula equipment, which is a very hardcore line. You don't really see much anymore because they're out of business. As you can see, quad gym, you have some hardcore lifters right on a deadlift platform here. Mixed in with regular everyday lifters. Once again, more nebula equipment. Love the nebula stuff. Can't get enough of that. The greatest thing here though in this gym is all the pictures on the wall. It's like a museum of bodybuilders that have worked out here in the past. People from Corey Everson, to Ronnie Coleman, Dorian Yates, they've all been here. As we enter into this room here, there's a little bit more equipment. There's some old Nautilus here. Still in great, great shape. There's this new sports art. Well, it's not new, it's probably old. I love it. I love the arcing machine. This was a great back machine I used yesterday. I love how the, the equipment arcs out on you. If you look up on the wall, you can see pictures, like I said, of the old legends. There's Lee Labrada up there. I was looking along the wall and I spotted my old good friend, Anthony DeRezza, who's no longer with us. May he rest in peace. Hardcore trainer of the time has been trained here before. You have a huge, huge cardio area. Probably back in the day, there was no cardio at Quad Gym. They just trained for four hours a day with weights, and that was their cardio. Now they have a whole huge rack of treadmills, ellipticals, anything you could possibly want here. As you can see, I love the original wall painting on the walls. Quad Gym. To come upstairs, as you can see, I just walked up this enormous flight of steps, which 
the torn quad is not easy. The count of the steps is over 20 steps here. So uh, if you want to get upstairs in quads and see the good stuff, you have to be willing to walk those steps. Let's come into the main gym here. Once again, I love all the original type of stuff. Look, there's the Quads Gym Chicago sign. More importantly though, there's all the equipment we got here. Now, this is original, original Nautilus pullover machine. You can see this, how good the lighting is, but this machine is a classic and Dorian Yates loved this one. Steve Weinberg's got one in his gym too. All original. Once again, Nebula, all over the place. Great, great product line. If you come up here, you see all the squat racks they got. Hardcore squat racks. People actually squat here, believe it or not. And then they have, if you come into this room, if you look up on the wall, and you see in the distance, this is the hammer strength room. All hammer strength equipment, as far as the eye can see. Incredible, all hammer strength, a whole room devoted just to hammer strength equipment. Truly incredible. And as you can see, all the pictures on the wall and a Chicago native himself, Sergio Oliva, who just passed away recently. His pictures are all over the place here. And what would this gym be without Eddie Cohen? He's a mainstay here. He's trained here a good part of his life. He's a, he's a, he's a true quads for lifer. And if you look around, you can even see Jimmy the Angry Bull, or as he was known back in the day, Jimmy the Iron Bull, doing his 150 pound dumbbell curls up on the wall there. As you can see, wall to wall free weights. I mean, they're just as many as the eye can see. This is a, a real hardcore gym in every sense of the word. Can't get enough to here, and I can't get enough to stare at the walls with all the people on the walls, the Hall of Fame there, so to speak, of this gym. We even have the old stadium fans keeping nice and cool. So it gets real hot. And what's a real hardcore gym without a great picture of Corey Everson, six time Miss Olympia. And of course, the one and only Arnold Schwarzenegger. Pictures are all over this gym, covering them, head to toe. This is Quads. All right, I just got a great, great tour of the Quads gym here in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, I'm like a little kid on Christmas when I go in this gym because I see equipment that I haven't seen in years. I've seen equipment I've never seen before, and I got to train on a lot of it over the last couple days, and I gotta tell you, it's A-rated. You guys are in the area. I advise you to come down. The owner Dave is always welcomes bodybuilders in here. You know, tell them you saw it on RxMuscle.com. Uh, quad gym in my book, top ten gyms in the United States, except maybe top five hardcore gyms in the United States. Thanks, Dave, for the great workout. Uh, we're gonna get going, and who knows what gym will wind up. Again.